the airline terminal project has been cleared for takeoff. The second phase of construction is now underway adjacent to the existing historic airline terminal. The terminal site has been graded to approximately 30 inches above the adjacent aircraft ramp to place the terminal facility outside the 100-year floodplain. After grading was finished, the first order of work for Emma Corporation was to set up batter boards for the new building. These are horizontal boards that are attached level to stakes used to mark the corners of the building, as well as fastening for stretched strings to indicate foundation walls within the building footprint. Then the electrical and communications conduit and all of the waistlines under the building footprint were laid out and installed. Once these utility lines were complete, about 80 footings ranging in size from 2.5 feet square to 10 feet square were then excavated, steel reinforcement was placed, and concrete was poured. The contractor has also installed new water service and sewer service to the site. There are two water line connections as the new terminal will have a complete loop around the facility. There are also two sewer laterals to the new building, one for restaurant waste and one for regular waste. The 67,000 square foot airline terminal is expected to be complete in early 2011 and achieve LEED Silver Certification for Sustainable Building. The project will also include construction of a new reconfigured short-term parking lot directly in front of the terminal and a wider, longer loop road with a separate lane for public transportation vehicles. The historic portion of the existing 1942 terminal is scheduled to open in early 2012 following its relocation adjacent to the new terminal. The rehabilitated building will house offices for airport patrol and parking operation. Stay tuned in the months to come for more updates on the airline terminal's flight to the future.